Welcome back everyone, I'm Zell, and it's time for another Drinking and Thinking with Zell. So you've got nine seconds to get your drink of choice, and I'll be right back with you. All right, guys, for the sharp news today, we've got Lila, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but Haddad. And this is a 14-year-old female bladesmith, and this is awesome. Uh, I'll put some links down below for all the stories we're going to cover, and you should go look and watch the video and read the articles on her. She started bladesmithing whenever she was six years old, with her dad, who is a bladesmith, and she has learned the craft, and she's making some really, really beautiful blades. Next up, Chris Reeve Knives is discontinuing the tie lock. Now, they say it was kind of a special knife, and it wasn't really ever meant to be general production, but they also say they have something else coming to us that's going to be cool as well. So, you know, yeah, we'll see. Uh, I have never was a huge fan of the tie lock mechanism, but it is kind of neat. And, you know, for somebody that wants something a little special, the tie lock was really cool. Uh, now, we got some videos that you need to go watch. Walter Sorrells this week talked about hamones, how to make them, what they are, and uh, some really good information. You should go check out Walter's video. Uh, Kevin Cleary went through the top... 10 knives to gift. Now, I don't fully agree with what Kevin's got there, but you may, so you should probably go watch that video. And Birdshot 4 is has taken a first look at the Al Mar collaboration with Kershaw, which uh, seems to be some really cool little knives. Go see what they've got to say about it uh, over on the Birdshot 4 channel, and uh, all those links are down in the description. Now from here, I want to talk about spinners. That is our question of the week. What do you think about these things? Now, I'm going to give you my opinion right quick. I think for some people, they are wonderful. There are some people that have ADD, ADHD, autism, and something to do with their hands while they're trying to think through something else is always good. You know, I actually use this whenever I'm trying to fight through CAD and trying to learn that stuff. I'll sit there and mess with one of these just to keep my hands busy. Uh, may not be for you if you don't have any of those issues, then uh, you don't need one. Now, the one thing I do want to say, if you're considering buying these things, do watch your budget. These things can be had for anywhere from five bucks up to a few hundred dollars. And... Uh, buy within your budget because these are not going to be items I don't believe that are going to hold value down the road like uh, a knife will. You know, some knives you, you only lose a few bucks. Sometimes you gain a little bit. Most of the time you lose a few bucks uh, by using a knife for a while or owning it for a while. Uh, these, whenever we get to these ones that are costing two, three hundred dollars. I don't think you're ever going to get your money back, guys. So I wouldn't go there. Keep it in the reasonable unless, you know, it's just your thing, whatever your budget is. Anyhow, let me know what you think about the fidget spinner down in the comments, and we'll just have a conversation down there about it. And you guys have a wonderful day. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.